In this next video, number seven, I want to encourage you to start writing and setting realistic deadlines. So even though I was like, well, I'll just let this brand refresh happen over the next few months when I'm feeling like it, I know that that couple of months would have suddenly become six months a year, or it would have just trailed off and become something else. Sometimes you have to put a lot of energy and time behind something, and it may feel like hard work at the time. You may feel like you're really chasing and moving forward and all of that stuff. So the key word here is be realistic and don't put all of the pressure on because presumably you've got client work and other things to juggle as well. But see if you can map out maybe what your plans are for the month. So I knew the month of May, I wanted to finish the brand refresh. I wanted to do all my legal stuff for the GDPR. I knew also though that I had a lot of speaking engagements and I know that Matt, my partner, is going away in July. So I'm very much into putting those building blocks in place and really sort of seeing the shape of what's to come and then planning accordingly. Also, don't give yourself too much to do in terms of the realistic deadlines because if you put so many things on your to-do list, you're gonna feel overwhelmed, a bit sick, and you're not gonna do any of them. So less is more, my friend. Um, see what you can do right now and just keep moving forward. So take out your calendar, see what's going on in there, see where the gaps are, and see what you can realistically do. This may mean watching a bit less telly. This may mean canceling some things or making some alterations. That's absolutely fine. Get really focused on why you wanna do this, the results and the benefits you're gonna gain, and then just put a bit of welly into it. I'll see you in the next video.